Welcome to a Chipboard Thank You by me, Sherry Carroll. For the project in this video, I'm going to use Hero Arts rubber stamps, chalk inks, stays on, and pearls. I'll start the project off by using the Card Art Flower Thank You and stays on, which I'll stamp onto a piece of acetate that I've cut from a card. I'll stamp again onto a small piece of pattern paper to capture the flower image only. Next, I'll use a Design Block Flourish with dark brown chalk ink and I'll stamp onto some very yummy basic gray paper. I'll cover the chipboard with some glue stick, making sure I get all my edges and corners very well. These are the areas that are most prone to pulling up. Then I'll place my paper down, get it in position, I'll use a splodger or a hotel card key to burnish the paper into the chipboard. I'll add a little more glue stick to the top, making sure I get around the corners and edges again. Then I'll add a piece of paper that I've cut, put it in place, and again I'll burnish with the card key. And if you notice, I'm going to kind of pull the paper towards the other paper. Next I'll flip the project over and I'll trim with my scissors. I like to cut this way where I have the paper overhanging and then I get a more consistent edge. Next I'll use a drywall type sanding block and I'll distress all the edges of my project. Grab some edges, get some gouges, it looks better that way. Then I've pre-cut some small pieces of paper that I want to fit on my acetate. I've used the image as a guide. As you can see, you fit them together, and that's how they'll look. Before I get started putting my papers down, I do like to distress the edges. So I use walnut stain ink and an applicator, but if you don't have an applicator, you can use makeup sponges. So now it's time to start putting my project together. I'm going to put a glue dot in the center of the, the stamped image and add my cutout flower. I've also distressed the edges of all the pieces of paper that I'm about to put on. Once that's in place, I'm going to flip it over and then I can hide my adhesive for the next pieces that I'm going to put on. So for the first one, I'm going to put the adhesive on the paper. For the next one, I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of the other paper. And I'll continue mounting the other pieces of paper until I have all the image covered. Now I'm going to flip it over, add adhesive to the back, and this will hold my backing piece in place. So, next I'll put adhesive onto my chipboard, just in the area where I want it. Place that down, make sure it's center, and then press down the edges. I'm going to add a strip of the basil scallop edge paper, which I've cut from a 12 by 12. So I always make sure it's long enough. I'll add some adhesive to the back. put it in place onto my project. Basil also makes the scallop edges sold by themselves, but I think you get more color choices if you buy the separate papers. Now I'm adding a strip of kind of a striped paper to the top. I like to have a light sitting against a dark so there's contrast. And I'll turn it over and I'll clip my ends. starting to come together. Next I've marked spots for my little um, hanger and I'm going to just use a crocodile to punch my holes out so I can add some brads. This is the handiest tool to have ever. I'm 
So it's easiest if you put a little glue dot on the back of the hanger and then put it onto your project before you put your brads on. That way it holds in place. So go ahead and insert the brads and push the ends. Now I'm going to add a piece of ribbon just tied in a single knot to the hanger. I always like to add other elements to my cards. I always snip my ends at an angle. I don't have a preference of which way they go, just an angle. Then I'll stamp Live, Laugh, and Love, one of my favorite stamps. I'll ink that up with the dark brown chalk ink. I like to get very good coverage to make sure I get everything done. I'll stamp that in place. Next, I'm going to add a Hero Arts flower, so I'll add another glue dot to the center and push the flower in place. Then I have a little square foam square. Pull the paper off and a little circle I've cut from blue paper to match the background. Finally, it's time to add some pearls. I like to keep my pearls and, and gems on a ring, that way I can flip them around. It keeps me organized, otherwise I'd have just tons of them everywhere. So cut them off individually off the strip and add them to your project. If you notice, I'm working on a healing mat. It's very important. Finally, I'll add my final larger pearl. And here's our finished project.